Gillette World Sport is back on the road to Rio as Max Whitlock explains how to master one of the most technically and physically demanding events in gymnastics. I started gymnastics when I was seven years old. I loved it ever since and uh, that's why I've carried it on. It's very different from any other sport. I love being able to go somewhere and being able to do something that not everyone can do. I love training and I've loved it since I was seven years old. I'm in the gym 35 hours a week, so to do that amount of training we have to love it and uh, you know each competition just pushes me harder and gets me even more motivated to get back in the gym and train harder. In training Max works very hard, he's very, he's very easy to work with, he's got a one track mind and that is to be successful in anything that he does, so it's very easy for a coach to work with someone like that. He knows what he needs to do to, to achieve his goals. He'll know when to ask questions, when not to ask questions. He'll know when to discuss something. And his ability to compete is, is outstanding. This ability to compete has seen Whitlock conquer the world on the notoriously challenging pommel horse apparatus. Pommel horse is it's a lot of technique and it's a lot of balance that goes into it. It's the sort of piece that if the nerves can get better of you, that's where it can really affect you. What I've learned in the years of training and competing it is that you have to go for it really and you can't hold back. Basically, on pommels, everything you do is a circle, is a rotation. So it's a variation of rotations and a variation of where you do it. So because you've got your two handles, you do some work on the two handles, then you do some work on the one handle, then you'd start opening your legs and doing flare movements, which a lot of the break dancers would you know, relate to. Um, and then you can go through handstand, back down again. The faster and, and more fluid you put all those things together, it looks like a, a routine combination rather than separate elements. It's good artistic gymnastics, so you have to, you know, it has to look good, and that's what it's all about. On pommel horse, it cannot stop. If you stop the movement, then you can get a lot of deductions. It has to constantly flow, and the nicer it's flowing, the nicer it's looking, the, the bigger score you're going to get. You look for the stretch, so the shape of the body, the way you, while you're circling around the piece, uh, and obviously things like normal, if your legs are straight, your toes are pointed, arms straight, um, everything like that, so every minor detail comes into play and that's why it has to be absolutely perfect on the day. You're always constantly working whether you take the massive risk or you can go really low and make, play it really safe. I tend to sort of go in the middle up to the more risky end of the scale and uh, really sort of go for it and that's what I like to do um, to hopefully if you pull it off then you can end up with a massive score. The perfect body position on pommel is to be as straight as possible so from your extension between your arms to your feet if you can have a completely straight body with your, your hip angle open, that will be perfect. Obviously you don't want to be too open so you become arched and you don't want to be too closed so you become piped. You want, you want somewhere in the middle, so a nice straight body position. To be honest, everything can go wrong. Position is, is the actual word for a pommel horse. You know, your shoulders and your hands have to be in the exact right places, otherwise it's very easy to fall off. So everything has to be spot on. It's that precision that differentiates between the athletes, particularly on the pommel horse. It's not just about the deductions you get for not being precise, it's about falling off. If you, you're not precise, the centre of mass will move and you'll, and you'll just fly off the pommel horse. You're constantly on your arms for that minute, minute and a half, and um, that's what we condition for when we do specific exercises in our conditioning to help us do that. Like when we were younger, we used to get on the pommel and do as many circles as possible just to sort of make our bodies ready for it when we're older. There's such an impact on the human body doing gymnastics and the lighter you are, the lighter frame you are, the easier the skills are on every piece of apparatus but also it, it's less impact on your body so it, it helps you with your longevity within the sport. I think anyone that is a real specialist on, on an apparatus in gymnastics is somebody that has something unique to them. And certainly with, with Max on the pommel horse, you, you can see that he's got so many different variations of that, of that circle. So he looks different to, to the other people that are on the pommel horse. Even now, I, you know, every competition I do, whether it's a tiny competition or the Olympic Games, I always get nervous. But I think the reason why you get so nervous is because You've trained so hard for many, many years and, and all this effort and hard work goes into you know, that one performance on that day and if you can pull it off then it, it is an amazing feeling.